Welcome, friends, to the class of BUSI 1301 Business Principles for the second eight weeks, spring 2023 semester. I am Randy Sala. I'm assistant professor of business for both Northeast and Connect Campus. And I want to welcome you to the class. I've got a short video for you here. This will help you lay everything out, what you're going to do in this course, and give you a good way <clears throat> how to navigate it. This is the welcome page or the home page, which you, the course will always default to. Uh, this is my contact information. There's my number, and this is probably be the most important way to contact me, my email, and I will respond to that uh, generally within 24 hours, and uh, we'll go into those specifics. This is your videos, my little welcome right in here to the class. Uh, we have I have divided this course into three unit lessons. We go over the business environment. Lesson two is organizing and starting a business. We call that entrepreneurship. And lesson three is managing people and some financial management. We'll even delve into a little bit of personal finances, which is another course that I teach, and I hope you take at some point. Again, we're going to go over all these. It's a crazy world we live in. We're the in the third decade of this millennium, and again, trying to uh, compete in a rigged economy, it is a different world than we live in. It seems to be more different every year, but certainly than 10 years ago. So are we uh, are we trying to adapt, my friends? I, I, I hope that this course, as brief as it's going to be, will at least give you a few ideas and some concepts that you can take with you throughout your college experience and your professional experience that you're able to use everyday life uh, uh, against the topics that we're going to go over. That is my hope. On your first page, we have the course syllabus. We have a course organizer. Please print these out. Put them on your workspace. Make a little binder for yourself. I'm, I'm a little bit of an organizational, you know, kind of a, a OCD person there, but it really helps when you have this stuff out there. So it, it saves a lot of time for everybody versus trying to say, hey, when's something due? Uh, all the due dates, everything in the class is, is going to be very well organized and clearly met. We have an orientation quiz that you're going to take. It's the first things we should do on day one. And then we have the links right in here to all of our units. Now, I am, I am viewing this from the student viewpoint, okay? And so uh, my page looks different. Your page looks different. I like I like the way Canvas is set up. We're going to go over. These are some of the things that we'll be doing. This is your to-do list. And again, I'm going to walk you through how to get your textbook and how to get everything else on this side. So right now, I think the most important thing is we're going to go over our course syllabus and our course organizer. Then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to navigate this course. So when I click these links and I download them, these are PDF files, this is your course syllabus, which again, I would highly recommend that you print out. Put it in your workspace wherever you're going to do uh, you know your college work my contact information again here are my office hours um wednesday monday is a office hours actually on my campus of northeast uh, and that's my room number uh, anytime you need to email me is perfectly fine and on wednesday uh, if you would like to speak with me i can make a virtual appointment with you but you do need to email in advance so we can set up a, an MS Teams meeting. Again, that's that's certainly fine. There's really not a problem to ever email, and I'll try to get back as fast as I can. We'll go over some of that in a minute there. But uh, just once you know you have access, uh, at least during the week, at least Monday through Wednesday, and we can uh, get your get your questions answered. Your textbook uh, was a book that you purchased with your tuition. It's an ebook. And it's Understanding Business by Nichols, very good book. And I will show you how to access that. If for any reason you are a seasoned uh, online student and you opted out um, of purchasing the ebook, and again, the opting out process is not a very easy one. You have to really go through a lot of um, drill down menus, uh, but one or two students usually will do that then find yourself an, old, uh, an edition of uh, Understanding Business by, by Nichols, and uh, you should be good to go. But the ebook is so 
convenient. It's always there for you. And we'll go over that. These are some of the learning objectives. Again, this is business 101, my friend. So basic understanding of economics and, and, and how the business environment works. Um, how we could look at some forms of ownership. Again, entrepreneurship is is something that I hope you'd want to think about adding to your career. And we'll go over a case of how to actually do a, a quick business model. And when you think of entrepreneurship, think of starting a side hustle. That, that's how I look at it. Something side hustle. So thinking entrepreneurially, how can you increase your income by a few hundred, if not, if not a few thousand dollars a month? Uh, can really make a giant difference in your world. And through that, we go over a little bit of marketing. And again, at the very end, we look at management, motivational theories, uh, human resources, and, and a basic understanding of finances, and, and more specifically, personal finance as well, because I think that will really help you out through life. Uh, students' expectations. Again, just reading what you can read right now. Uh, it's going to be a fast class, my friends. This is eight weeks. It's really probably more like seven weeks. So I hope you are, you, we, we gotta get out of the gates very fast here. This is not a course where you can basically uh, chill for a couple of weeks and then start thinking about doing assignments because assignments are gonna be due the first week of class and, and on. And so, you know, you gotta spend, if you'll spend at least 10 hours a week, hey, the, the great thing is you're not traveling to a campus. You're not in that terrible traffic. Hopefully, at least at least not coming to us. And so, uh, if you'll if you'll spend some time, this is going to be a project based course. I have written projects. If you'll do one question to two questions a day, you're going to be fine. If you wait until the last minute, on the day the assignment is due, then we will all find ourselves in Dante's fifth circle of hell, and that's anger. There are nine circles. Again, late work is is. The reason it's rarely accepted is because we just don't have the time to keep extending assignments. It's because once we're done with one unit, we're on to the next, and then the third unit, and then we're at the end of the course. Technology requirements. I have a technology statement from Connect. Please look at that. Friends, again, an online course is for a student who is very self-motivated. They don't need to ask a lot of questions. They, you know, they're very self-directed of how to answer assignments and, and going from there. Um, and of course, you need good technology. There is not an excuse because this is an online course that you said, well, my computer's not working well. I don't know what to do. Uh, you, you need to have very good equipment. You know what I mean. I mean, uh, I would say a good laptop or, or at least a stable desktop. Phones and tablets really don't work that well with the Canvas learning management system that we utilize. If, if you've had great success, well, you're, you're one of the few who do. And so good internet access at all times, again, not an excuse to say I don't have internet access because we're taking an internet class. Now, you are welcome to go to any Tarrant County College campus of the five campuses that we have. Um, and, and again, we sh should be no more than just a few minutes if we're in Tarrant County from one, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. And we have all sorts of computers, computer labs on campus. You are welcome. You are a student at every campus. We are one college with just many different locations. So it doesn't matter where you are. You can drive to one of the libraries, computer learning centers, and, and utilize any, any technology. But I do hope that you have good equipment. And again, many times we're traveling. The, the same thing happens, my friends. We, it's just too short of a course to say, I'm, I'm out of the country right now, or I'm on business traveling. And I get that. I, I really do. Uh, that uh, I, I can't get it in, you know, we'll, we'll go over it, uh, of that, you know, if it's, if it's 24 hours is one thing, but, uh, that's, that's, that's kind of the extent that we're dealing with. So at any rate, good technology requirements. Uh, and I think that's going to serve you well. I do teach a personal finance class and we all about trying to save and budget our money. But as a college student, I, I would suggest if you can, you get the best equipment possible whether that's Alienware from Dell, I mean, uh, the best that they have, or, or a MacBook, uh, or a great MS uh, Windows uh, laptop, uh, or Surface Pro is what I'm trying to say. Uh, get the best you can because that's going to just do you very well throughout your, your career. Student conduct, all right, we're an online class. Let's just keep, we'll, we'll be doing some emails. We'll have, we do have discussion boards. All, all class communications are treated with the utmost professionalism. 
even if we don't agree with uh, something that we're saying in these discussion boards, because they do deal with national problems that we're having uh, as a country. Uh, you know what? Uh, I learn a lot from, from, from my students. I learn a tremendous amount from their discussion boards. It's a great way to connect and engage. And, and basically, we kind of have one just about every week here. Uh, so let's have the best conduct that we have. Here's how the course grades go. Again, I kind of think if, if you do poorly in this class, then, then, then that's on you. You, you didn't do anything. I, I make it very doable, all right? I want you to learn things, but I don't want to bog you down with just uh, meaningless assignments, perhaps in some other the regular core classes that, that you would have. So we have your orientation quiz. I give you 20 points. Basically, it just says I've read everything. I know what to do. 20 points. Boom. Six discussion board topics. So not every week, but almost in a, in a seven-week class, we have six. They're 10 points apiece. They're 60 points. The big thing here, my friends, are the written projects. They are 200 points apiece. You literally cannot miss one. If you do, you're just not going to uh, uh, do well in the course. I, I don't think you successfully, you know, Put the grade forth that you want. They are 600 points total. Then I have three quizzes, uh, and they're 15 points a piece, so 45. So 725, and then what I do is I total everything up, and if there's any extra bonus projects out here, those are just extra points, and these are the grades. Gold, silver, bronze. Let's not, you know, we, we do have some, some other ones there, but this is what we should be striving for. I make it very, very doable for you to do that. There's the course organization. Again, you can always click on your grade link on the Canvas homepage to see how you're doing. Unit one, two, three, business environment, organizing the small business, which is entrepreneurship, and then managing employees and financial management. Uh, I try to provide you with lessons with, uh, again, that are very detailed. I'll show you that. I I'll give you notes. I have some of my PowerPoints. Occasionally, I'll put some of my videos in that if you were in my on-campus class, I do screen recordings of those. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty close. There's a little difference between the lecture and the online, just because I'm trying to uh, streamline more for you on the online. But you, you may find those videos interesting. There is an attendance policy. Again, if you are a Tarrant County College student, we are required to make attendance. Um, I don't know why, but we are. Uh, a lot of it is just, uh, you know, again, that's just, uh, we believe that if students are actually doing things, they're more engaged and they do much better. For this course, how would I, how would I basically count your attendance? Well, it will be in the assignments. So the orientation quiz, the discussion board, the written assignments, and of course, uh, the three quizzes. If we're here, we're all. If we do them, turn them in. We're all present. If I missed one and I'm a student, then there's an unexcused absence there. There are no really no excused absences at Tarrant County College. But I just want to let you know if you miss uh, somewhere around three assignments uh, here, it says five, but I'm going to just go ahead and three. You you may be dropped from the course. That's what a lot of other instructors do now. I believe that you are your own person and you take responsibility for the things that we do in life. That's what we have to do. So I'm not, please don't assume that I will automatically drop you from a course. Uh, I think if you need to drop, uh, then you, that's something you need to do. Uh, it's your responsibility, not mine. I do try to help out students, but you know, teaching a lot of classes, uh, I've come to the point to where that's, that's on you. And, uh, because it's your course and you, you paid for it. Um, some students, one or two, have gotten upset in the past. You're supposed to drop me, and that's why I put this in here. I, I don't want you to assume that I will. That, that is your responsibility on your drops uh, and on your non-attendance there. I don't want you to do well in this course. Enough enough negativity right there. Uh, if, if you have enough time, it's a quick course, but you're still going to have enough to complete assignments, spend a few hours working each week in this class, you'll be happy with the grade you earn at the end of the semester. Again, it's eight weeks, so I try to make it more doable. I've, I've taken out one project, and so these are quick, but the projects have, which I'm going to go over, each have their own questions to it. So you just answer a question or two a day, you're going to be fine. So communication, I will send out announcements, and they will come to you in your announcements area. They should also come as emails to you as well. So please use your MyTCC email, the one that you have, 
and uh, it'll either go through Canvas or your MyTCC account. Uh, don't use a Hotmail or an iCloud or something like that because uh, we are instructed not to use to, to respond to those. So we always have a paper trail of, of, of a student's communication that the District of Tarrant County College has. Uh, and that doesn't necessarily happen. So if you send me a, a, an iCloud email, I'll only respond to it through your MyTCC. So please use your MyTCC email and, and check it. Check those emails daily. Uh, obviously, you're gonna be on that. Check those announcements. And as you send me one, please you know, realize that the most important business skill that you're gonna have is proper communication skills. This is the number one issue that employers have with college graduates for the last 10 years, and it seems to not be getting a whole lot better. Emails need to be sent with proper grammar, capitalization, Professor Sala. Sometimes I have someone says, hey dude, what, am I, what, what, what assignment are we on? I will not respond to that. <laughs> this is not gonna do it. So poor grammar, cap, punctuation are just not gonna receive response because you shouldn't be doing that to a vice president of marketing uh, of your organization. So. Again, hope that uh, clears that up. I will definitely respond within 48 hours on a regular business days. So I'll try to do that within sooner, but that's, a, it, it, you know, sometimes um, with technology, it will be, you know, I'm just giving myself a window of 48 hours. I'll grade your written assignments uh, within seven days after the due date. So you'll have those written assignments very uh, quickly, hopefully faster than that again. But again, give me a little bit of a window there. Monitoring your discussion boards, I'll grade those on a weekly basis and provide you with group uh, uh, announcements, which comes out as emails. And if we haven't done something, it'll come out as an email to you. So uh, you can do that. If you, if, if you uh, send out an email on a Friday afternoon, just it'll, it'll like after three o'clock, it's gonna be till Monday before I get to that. So again, uh, let's, the proper planning there will we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, my friends. Just, let's just breathe for a minute. You know, sometimes on the first day of class, it gets very overwhelming. We read the syllabus. So what, what am I supposed to do? Just, you don't have to complete the course in one day. All right? Just read through the syllabus. We're going to go through the course organized. We're going we're gonna to breathe. What we need to focus on, certainly in the online courses, and I also believe many times in life, is just focus on what's going to be in front of us. All right, for the most parts, that's going to be the unit lesson, the discussion boards that we may have, the quizzes. I give you two attempts and I record the highest grade and the quizzes are gonna be open uh, when the unit opens. So you have plenty of time to take it. By missing a quiz, uh, let's not. It's just, it's, it's too easy to do. And the written projects. Again, one question a day, possibly two. Again, there are about 10 questions per project and uh, we should be quite pleased with our results. All right, that's how we're gonna do it. I really want you to succeed in this class. And so we're gonna make it a great semester, my friends. I'm gonna pop over here to the course organizer one more time, print this out. <laughs> It'll help you quite a bit. I try to go over some of the things you're going to need in here. Here is, here's unit lesson one. So we're starting on March 20th. These are chapters one through four and again, uh, this will all be very visible throughout our course modules. So these are when things are due. It really helps you out quite a bit. All right. So we have an orientation quiz due by the end of the week, et cetera, et cetera. We have a discussion board and then we have our quiz. And then again, we have our big unit uh, one uh, business environment. These are your due dates. And so nice to print out. This gives you a visual representation of what we need to do in this course. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the course and I'm going to navigate some other things, how to get your book and how to uh, access the assignments. Two, one. So here we are. Back in the student view, we always come back to our homepage, trying to get a better view for you here. And this is your toolbar. So let's go to the syllabus. There we are. You download it again. I got it right here. Um, sometimes it will automatically show up, but I, I like this. These are all your due dates right in here. And you can access everything. If you try to access something too early, it just won't go to it. We 
there's always a question, would you let me finish this course faster? So, because I have a lot of stuff to do and I, and I, I like to do that for students, but I can't. So we don't need to ask any more on that. Uh, this Department of Education does not want a online course looking like a correspondence course where you can finish at your own time. Uh, we want to pull things out in segments. Again, it's going to go fast, my friends. Every couple of weeks, we're ready for the for the new new unit. But um, as far as trying to access, I want to go ahead and, and do all these discussion boards now. You, it will not let you do that until they're open. But you can at least, on your first one, so all of our units right in here, this is unit one, two, three, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, unit one, that is all ready to go. Just so we know that. Okay. As I go to the announcements page right in here, this is where I'll find my announcements. Again, many of them are not open yet. That's why we're not seeing it, but once they come open, this will be populated. Here's my modules, which are very important. This is how everything rolls through. But what I'm going to do is hit you to McGraw-Hill Connect. So here's your textbook. So again, when I hit my McGraw-Hill Connect, it will go right here. You're going to register by joining your class with Connect. And when you hit the Begin button, it's going to come right here. There's me. There's our class. This is the book that we're going to have. You'll join with your email, and then uh, it may give you a password, or may ask you for a password, and that's how you'll sign in. If for any reason you get an error, I, I have no control over this. So contacting me, uh, not going to help that much, uh, but there is our, our, our customer service window that may pop up in a minute here. It would give you a lot of things. If it says... Uh, you can certainly connect, uh, I mean, certainly call me, and then I will get with the um, with the publisher themselves and, and, and try to fix this, fix the problem here. But um, when you do, if it asks you to pay for the service, that's what I'm trying to say. Sorry, guys, this internet is running very slow, and that's, that's, why, we, that's why we try to work in advance. If it says you need to pay for this book, and you know that you actually did, come in and you uh, you paid for it through your tuition, you didn't opt out, go ahead and sign up for the two-week free trial. McGraw-Hill Connect gives you a two-week free trial. And then say, Professor Sala, I'm pretty sure I paid for this class and it's making me, it's making me uh, you know, pay in. Sometimes there's always issues on the first week. Just sign up for the two-week free trial and we'll get it connected back with Connect there. And uh, uh, that's just great. Uh, again, we're trying to hit this during spring break, but uh, you know, so some, some sites are just not working well. And it's kind of bad weather outside, too. But I hope that's easy. You hit that. You go right in here, type your email, and then it'll automatically come to the class, and you'll be able to access that either through your phone or tablet. You can, but certainly your laptop. Any problems that you have, if it just says that it needs you to pay to go for the two-week free trial, and you can say, uh, you know, notify me that it said uh, that I needed to pay, and I, if I were to pay for the book, we'll, we'll we'll do a workaround. If any other reasons on there, like uh, uh, something's broken or something, a, a line or, or or it just may not be connecting, um, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, just keep keep trying to to log back in. Sometimes it takes a you know clear everything out, restart your computer, and log back in. But it's pretty simple. Rarely do we have any problems with that. Back to the modules. This is it. This is so. This is your first module right in here. All right. Welcome to the unit lesson. I, this is how I create it. Here's your checklist. Read assignments one through four in the text. Again, when I say read, do a nice quick read through. Uh, you're going to be fine. I have PowerPoint files been provided for you. Again, there's your discussion. Uh, excuse me. Orientation quiz complete your digital deliverables, complete discussion board activities, unit quiz one, and there's the big project. Check all that for your due dates. And again, the syllabus will also have your due dates. But as we look through here, your due dates are also right in here as well. So, so there's where we know things are, are done. There's the unit quiz. It will be open it's day one, and uh, it's due March 31st. Friends, you, you can take it two times, and I take your highest grade. There's, these are really non-negotiable items. If you miss the quiz, you miss the quiz. That's, that's just it. 
uh, don't miss it. I mean, there's too many times opportunities to take that. Here is the big project. All right. Now, we download the file, business environment one right in there. We have a grading rubric. I have this will go through turn it in. So we make sure that we have cited any sources that we have. We have not copied it from anybody because turn it in does a great job. It will find any paper from Tarrant County College from a previous student and it will look all websites. I mean, it's a pretty good job. And I've, I've taken it to where uh, it'll only find the majority hits here. It won't find small little things. So basically, if you come with a 50% match greater than uh, on turn it in, you need to rewrite that. Okay, or we because you know we don't want to receive a failing grade for plagiarism again, one or two times has that happened, but just want to you know, forewarned is forearmed. That's the, the project right there, and you basically going to go ahead and just download that to your system. But I have something right here for you. You know, I, I've seen so many questions I've been teaching for a long time. What we are doing is we are writing right in here. So I have a second video for business. This is how you're going to turn in. All of your reports, I believe, or your communication in your professional career, whatever that might be. So I have a video right there, how to go over, how it go, goes over every every question right in here, and how to write it, how to format it. We are not writing an English composition paper. Let me repeat that. We are not writing it. We're these very long paragraphs. We're writing uh, bulleted paragraphs. We're writing that someone can easily find the information. And you'll see everyone has a one, two, three, four. So I don't want to repeat myself. I want you to watch this video and it's going to really help you submit. It'll also go over my grading rubric. I have a minimum expectations. Um, again, you'll find in there, I don't take, I don't start from a hundred and go down on my papers. Uh, I have a minimum expectation, what it should look like, minimum word count. If you meet those minimums, that's an 80. And then I go up from 80. If we don't meet those minimums, if they're less than that, then you know the, the grades are, are not very pretty because again, I'm not asking you to do a tremendous amount, but this will really help you. So I, I just say, I plead with you, go ahead and uh, uh, watch that video. And again, I also have a rubric for you, but I go over the rubric in the video so you can print these out because I want you to do your best work here. And uh, I think it's going to be very explanatory. I will give you some late work on here. Again, it's a small, fast class, but I will, I will tell you that what, when, when it will be. I give you two days, all right, after the due date. So, you know, I understand things happen. It will be a 10% penalty, but that's, that's very minimal can, of, of what we've got to do. Uh, so you can need two more days on it. I, I'll, I'll cover you with that. There, there was a little expense there, a little tax, so to speak. So those are our environments. Again, excuse me, those are our projects of every unit. We'll have at least one of these. And again, it's not like you have to write an essay. You are answering questions. And all these questions relate to that unit. The number two uh, module will go over entrepreneurship. So we'll actually have a case of how to start up a business. And uh, I think you'll like that. And you can utilize your own business idea if you want to, but the small business, it's very easy to do. And again, this would be a great way to start a side hustle. Uh, have a little bonus project on the first unit as well. And uh, so there we go. It's very straightforward, my friends. And there we go from unit one, two, and three. And uh, another bonus project uh, at, at the end. So get you a couple extra, a uh, few points if you, if you need those. Whew, wow, we've gone over a lot. And I don't want to make this too more cumbersome because I have videos inside for you. And again, if you ever need any notes or resources, just, you know, again, your first week, you plow through this. Uh, there's a review right in there. Those are some notes straight from the book. This is uh, one of the PowerPoints that I use. If you find that interesting as well, you certainly want you to look through that. And, uh, you know, let's enjoy the course. We'll do the best we can through it. I think we can do well. I'm, uh, I'm excited that you took it. I'm thanking you that you took the class and signed up. So well, it's more time, my friends, as we, as we uh, shut down this welcome video. Uh, I want you to make it a great semester.